In this video, we will run through the quick and easy learn process required to program your pet's microchip number or RFID collar tag into the pet door. We recommend that you perform the process for all of your pets before installing your pet door to ensure each pet's identity can be stored to memory and then read reliably. This process is only required once for each pet as a pet's identity is permanently stored in memory even if the batteries are removed. First, take the pet door out of the box and place it on the floor. To perform the learn process, you will need your pet, some of their favourite dry food and four good quality C-cell batteries. Insert two C-cell batteries in each of the battery compartments on either side of the pet door. The correct orientation of the batteries is shown in the bottom of the battery compartment. Remove the button compartment lid at the top of the product and push the memory button once. The memory button is on the far right hand side and has a cat's face icon above it. Pressing this button will activate the pet door's learn mode and there are two things to check that the pet door is in the learn mode. The first is that the motorised catches have dropped down at the front of the door and the second that the display on the LCD screen is flashing. The pet door is now waiting for a pet to put its head into the tunnel of the pet door to activate the reader. Now take some of the dry food and put it inside the tunnel as close as possible to the door. The aim is to encourage your pet to put its head inside the tunnel as they would do when they come home. The display on the LCD screen stops flashing once the microchip has been learnt, but the catches will not close until your pet moves away from the tunnel. To ensure the microchip can be read reliably, get your pet to put their head back into the tunnel up against the door. Do this by placing the food as close to the door as possible, as we are showing here. When the microchip is read, the catches at the front of the door will drop down, and when your pet moves away from the tunnel, the catches will pop up. You should now repeat this process for each of your pets. The pet door can store up to 32 different identities in memory. When you have completed the learn process for all of your pets, replace the button cover. If your pet will be using the Shoreflap RFID collar tag to operate the pet door, the learn process is very similar. Push the memory button to put the pet door into the learn mode. Hold the collar tag in your hand and place your hand inside the tunnel of the pet door, making sure that you touch the door. The unique code of the collar tag will be stored in the memory after a few seconds. Again, when the tag's code has been learnt, the display on the LCD screen will stop flashing. 